Let's say that we've got a penny wins. Today we do something a little different. We're going to do some of the math that's in one of the FRQs. So 2015, number three, this was on cellular respiration efficiency. So they start out with the question. They talk about uh, the cost of Krebs cycle and electron transfer chain. They give you a little bit of background with cellular respiration. And then in part C, we see the math. A researcher estimates that in a certain organism, the complete metabolism of glucose produces 30 molecules of ATP for each molecule of glucose. The energy released from the total oxidation of glucose under the standard conditions is 686 kilocal per mole. The energy released from the hydrolysis of ATP to ADP and organic phosphate under standard conditions is 7.3 kilocal per mole. So when to calculate the amount of energy that's available from the hydrolysis of 30 moles of ATP. So we know that one mole of ATP is 7.3 kilocals, and then we're finding that we have 30 moles of ATP. So you're just going to multiply. 7.3 times 30 gives me 219. Now notice that I have units there. Don't leave any naked numbers. So it should be 219 kilocals. Now we want to figure out the efficiency. Calculate the efficiency of total ATP production from one mole of glucose in the organism. So under standard conditions, it's 686 kilocals. But we found the math to be 219 kilocals. So that's going to be our efficiency. 219 divided by 686. So that is going to give us 0.319 or 31 to 32 percent, one of those two numbers. And since we're already here, let's describe what happens to the excess energy that's released from the metabolism of glucose. That extra energy is just released as heat. Hope this was helpful. Remember, 85 Pain was just success. Bye, y'all.